Thank you. All right. Welcome to CUBN, Christmas United Broadcasting Network. This is CUBN. You can get in contact with us at CUBNlive.com. All right. Next on our news, the Washington football coach fired for parade off-field files lawsuit. All he wants is this. The lawsuit points out that other coaches engaged in religious expression at the beginning of the end of the football games with no repercussions. Wow. What is this world getting into? Ooh. High school football coach Joe Kennedy was fired for praying. And now he wants his job back, which he should get it back. Kennedy, a former Marine Corps gunnery sergeant, has filed a federal lawsuit against the Birmingham School District in Washington State, claiming he was let go because of his religious beliefs. The school district has yet to respond to the lawsuit. They fired him for praying, said Michael Berry, the coach's attorney. Berry is with First Liberty Institute, one of the nation's largest law firms handling religious liberty cases. If a school can do this to someone like Coach Kennedy, they can do it to anybody, Berry told me. The coach is not asking for a single penny in his lawsuit. He just wants his job back. How are you supposed to get your job back if the school do something like that to you? You know what I mean? That's just messed up. All we really want for him is to be back in the sideline coaching those kids. And nothing more, Barry said. Here's the backstory. Since 2008, Coach Kennedy has taken a knee at the 50-yard line at the conclusion of every football game to offer a brief quite prayer of thanksgiving the for, for players safety sportsmanship and spirited competition the coach's petition the coach's petition to the almighty un you almighty usually lasted about 30 seconds he did not proselytize proselytize nor did he Compel, compel players, com compel players or anyone else to participate. Per to participate. Where am I? Wow. Compel players or anyone else to participate. In other words, it was just a private prayer, not a Billy Graham crusade. He has inspired to pray after watching Facing the Giants. A faith-based film about a high school football team. Coach Kennedy made a conven conven convenient. Coach Kennedy made a covenant. Oh, made a covenant with God that he would give thanks through prayer at the end of the game, at the end of each game, for what the players had accomplished and for the opportunity to be part. Of their lives to the game of football the lawsuit states over time some of the teenage players asked if they could join him in prayer and the coach replied this is a free country you can do whatever you want the lawsuit also points out that other coaches engaging engaged in religious expressions at the beginning and the end of football games the lawsuit specifically mentioned David Boynton, an assistant coach who delivered a Buddhist a Buddhist chant near the 50-yard line. Coach Boynton has never been suspended, let alone dismissed, on the basis of his religious expressions. expressions. The lawsuit states, It's not quite clear what led to to the school district's investigation, but on September 17, 2015, Coach Kennedy received a letter informing him that the district was conducting an inquiry into a policy regarding religious-related activities and practices. The district dis 
district the, the district directed the coach to refrain from praying around students or doing anything that might cause people to think he he was praying he was forbidden he was forbidden from bowing his head or kneeling too however coach kennedy chose chose to defy the district's demands and on October 23rd, 2015, he walked out to the 50-yard line after the football game and prayed. On October, on October 28, 2015, the coach was placed on paid administrative leave and banned from participating in the football program. The district stated it had placed Coach Kennedy on administrative leave because he engaged in overt public religious displays on the football field. While on duty as a coach, the lawsuit states, In November 2015, Coach Kennedy received a poor performance evaluation after years of receiving stellar performance reviews. The, the evolution recommended that the coach, the evaluation, what? Recommended that the coach not be re Hired. The evaluation recommended that the coach not be rehired based on his alleged failure to follow district policy regarding religious expressions. And his alleged failure to supervise, to supervise students after the game. In January 2016, Coach Kennedy's contract was not renewed. Attorney Barry said they tried to reach out to the school district on a number of occasions, but the district's attorney declined to speak. They want to go to war. So on January 30, 2016, the coach filed a discrimination charge with the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. In June, the Department of Justice issued a right to sue letter. Coach Kennedy told me he has no regrets. I wouldn't do anything differently, he said. I've always taught my guys to stand up for what they believe in, even if it's not popular. Coach Kennedy is also leading by example, demonstrating that sometimes there is a price to pay for doing the right thing. But as well as learned in Sunday school, goodwill eventually triumphs over evil. And I suspect there are lots of folks in Bremerton who would rather stand alongside a Christian Marine Corps veteran I said it right than a bunch of godless school district bureaucrats bureaucrats. One final note. I really wish the Bremerton School Superintendent would return my telephone calls because there's a question I'd like him to answer. If it's okay for a Buddhist, a Buddhist coach to pay, pray at a football game, why can't a Christian coach pray? It's a simple answer to that. The Washington football coach fired for praying off field files a lawsuit. All he wants is this. It's amazing, but this world's coming to you, you know. It's just crazy.